Hi, everybody. Welcome to Webinar Wednesday. Uh, I have 10 o'clock uh, on my clock over here, so I'm going to turn it over to our solutions architect, Ken Gogish, to get us started. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Welcome to Webinar Wednesday. This is Ken Gogish. I'm a solution architect with the Avaya practice here at Serum Networks. Today I'm going to talk about SIP endpoints on Avaya Aura. When, where, and if you are to deploy SIP endpoints is a consideration that needs to be determined when upgrading to Avaya Aura. SIP telephones provide the opportunity to enhance the user experience as well as reduce cost. I'll start today's presentation providing an overview of the various endpoints in the Aura portfolio. Then I'll talk about some of the unique capabilities that SIP telephones and I'll wrap up by covering the feature differences you'll need to be aware of creating users from 9600, 1100, and 1200 series sets. Let's start with a high-level overview of the desk telephones in the portfolio and the protocols they support. Starting on the left, we have the B100 series of conference phones that are available as SIP, H323, or analog endpoints. The 1600 series telephones support H323 only. The E129 is a single line SIP telephone. The 9600 series telephones can be flashed with either H323 or SIP. The H175 video telephone as well as the E159 and E169 media stations support only SIP. To give you a better idea of the price points and where these sets fit into your organization, across the horizontal plane, we have the type of that might benefit from a particular set. On the vertical plane, we have the list price point. The E129, for example, is aggressively priced at $69, and it offers a basic SIP feature set. The 9601, which is also a SIP single line telephone, but supports T, much broader of via advanced SIP telephony feature set, which comprises of over 100 features, has a list price of $220. The E159 and E169 are targeted at the BYOD user who prefers their smartphone or tablet as their communication choice. And we have the 9600 flagship series of telephones in all use cases. Focusing in on the 9600 series, again, they support the broad Avaya advanced SIP telephony feature set, also known which is very close to that of the H323 feature set. The 9608G is the set we sell the most of. It comes with a grayscale display. The 9611G is functionally the same, except that it comes with a high contrast color display, which is easier on the eyes. And we have the 9641GS, which features a touch display as well as Bluetooth. Customers, particularly those coming from legacy Nortel environments where Bluetooth sets have been more prevalent, are not put off by the 9641 type because of the headset savings that a Bluetooth interface offers. Taking a BYOD approach has the same headset that they use with their smartphone. All right, the E129. It's intended for use in areas where a telephone is placed or for users with limited feature set needs that really just need to make a call. The last few features supported are listed here. It does have a speakerphone and display. The reason why those are not listed is because these features are features of the set itself as opposed to features provided by Avaya Aura. As stated before, this set does not support AST, which means things like call recording and an EC500 handoff key are not supported. However, EC500 mobile twinning is supported, just not the keys to invoke high-level set. Also note that these sets require to 
require you to use DHCP services, your DHCP services rather, than the DHCP services available on the Avaya or utility services. All right, here we are, let's see. Uh, the E159 and E169. Now like the E129, these sets do not support ASD. They provide a dock for the user's smartphone or tablet that will charge the device as well as provide headset and high quality speakerphone capabilities. And the set will also play any audio that the smartphone or tablet has access to. I should note that these sets do support one ASD feature and that being the multiple device access or NBA feature which I'll talk about shortly. Aside from the price point, the difference between these two sets is the audio and speakerphone quality as well as the headset and handset interface options. The H175 does support the Avaya Advanced Sit Selecting Feature Set. It is a fully featured high definition video collaboration death set with the features shown here. And here we have the B100 series of conference room phones, the B179 being SIP and the one we sell the most of, as well as the only one in the lineup supporting SIP. Moving on now from hard points to soft endpoints, Avaya Communicator is the SIP based soft client that supports Windows, Android, and Apple smart devices and integration with Microsoft Skype for Business. These clients come across as entitlements with core suite licensing in Avaya Aura. In addition to supporting telephony, these clients support deep integration with other Avaya Aura applications such as multimedia messaging, which is a rich IM solution supporting text as well as video and audio across instant messaging integration with Avaya Aura Present Services, integration with Avaya Aura Conferencing, where it provides conference controls from the client, and integration with Avaya Aura Messaging, where it provides visual voicemail when deployed with Avaya Client Enablement Services. If Microsoft Link or Skype for Business is your instant messaging, presence, and desktop collaboration tool of choice, Avaya provides the deepest PBX integration of any major manufacturer. Now I'll talk about things you can do with the SIP protocol that you cannot do with other protocols. We can support VPN-less connectivity for SIP devices out in the wild. So these could be remote workers or people traveling around with the Avaya Session Border Controller. On outside the secure enterprise, the devices shown here target the untrusted public facing IP address of the FDC in order to gain secure access to the enterprise communications environment. Multiple device access, or MDA, allows the user to be logged in to up to 10 devices at once, consuming just a single Avaya Aura user license. The MDA feature spans multiple Avaya Aura components, including Avaya Aura Session Manager, Avaya Aura Communication Manager, Avaya Aura Conferencing, Avaya Aura Present Server, and supported Avaya SIP endpoints. The MBA feature is intended for use by a single individual. It's not intended to be used by multiple distinct users sharing a single user's endpoint. The MBA user can make and receive calls from any device. How this works is that session manager parallel forks the call to users' registered devices, causing them to alert simultaneously. Once the call is answered at one of the devices, the alerting is canceled at the other devices. Some of the benefits of MDA include uh, staff can activate, or rather have active phones in multiple locations. MDA allows users to stay logged in to both phones at the same time. Staff continue calls while moving from one device to another. This is probably one of the bigger benefits of MDA, hard phone to soft phone, hard phone to hard phone, et cetera. 
note that the way this feature works is sort of like the way your family uses an analog home line with multiple sets at home. An MDA user may move an audio call from one device to another by first bridging onto the call at the new device and then ending the call with the original device. If a call is placed on hold, the user may resume a held call only to the device that held the call. In the hospitality vertical or hotel room, for example, or uh, using a private executive office as an example, as stated before with NBA, all the phones can register with the same number and consume only one user license. Therefore, multiple people can participate in the same call using the different phones in the room just by picking up and bridging themselves onto the call. Note that this capability is subject to communication manager's six-party limit for ad hoc conferencing. These are all the endpoints currently supporting MDA for telephony, and STARD are the devices that support presence and instant messaging. In regards to presence, watchers of the MDA user will receive the aggregated presence state from Avaya Presence Services. In regards to instant messaging, an MDA user may have one, MDA, one IM capable device uh, active in the MDA device group. Users cannot have more than one IM capable device registered at the same time. To move IM from one device to another, the user must first log out I am on the device they are using before logging into I am on another device. New in Avaya OR 7 is the ability to support a visual indication of the active voice encryption between two Avaya SIP endpoints on an internal call. Desk phone firmware SIP 7 has also added visual indication for when a phone is being remotely controlled by an administrator using Avaya Diagnostic Services. There's also a visual and audible indication when ADS is capturing packets off the phone. Desk phone firmware SIP 7 has added support for the voice over IP metrics report block which is defined in RFC 3611. The six parameters displayed on the set in the audio parameter screens are mean opinion score for conversation quality, that's the MOSCQ, mean opinion score for listening quality, that's the MOS uh, LQ that you see here, R factor, which is a voice quality metric describing the segment of the call that is carried over the RTP session, this is expressed as an integer in the range of 0 to 100 with a value of 94 corresponding to total quality and values of 50 or less being regarded as unusable. Signal level, round trip delay, and loss rate are the uh, final metrics that are uh, supported on the phone. When migrating a 9600 set from an H323 environment to a SIP environment, realize that while most of the feature functionality remains the same, some do change and may need to be cared for. What I've done here on the next two slides is culled out from a multi-page document all the features that remain the same so that we can focus on the features that remain that are different. The H323 columns are based on Avaya or Communication Manager 7. Two columns distinguish between Avaya 1X desk phone H323 using 3.2.5 software, which is used on the 96X0 IP telephones, and the Avaya desk phone H323 6.6.0 software, which is used on the 96X1 IP telephones. In the SIP columns, these are also based on the Avaya Aura Platform 7, which is comprised of Avaya Aura Communication Manager 7 with Avaya Aura Session Manager 7. The two columns distinguish between Avaya 1X desk phones SIP 6.2.6.14 software, which is used on the 96X0 
IP desk phones and the Avaya 1X desk phone SIP 7.0.0 software, which is used on the 96X1 IP desk phones. Just stepping through the features now, uh, we have abbreviated dialing. Uh, how this is, what this is used for is to reduce the number of digits needed to <clears throat> dial to place a call. Instead of dialing the entire number, a short code is dialed to access the number. You can also assign abbreviated dialing buttons to H323 desk phones so that you press a single button to dial frequently called numbers. You cannot assign abbreviated dial buttons to SIP desk phones. The SIP desk phone users can program fax or feature access codes and dial code number against a contact or against a speed dial entry. Advice of charge. Uh, this is an old feature that's not used uh, much anymore. This allows the feature to see the cost of an outgoing call when a call is in progress or at the end of the call. This is not supported on SIP uh, desk telephones. Attendant console and related features are available for H223 and digital sets only. SIP desk telephones cannot function as full featured attendant consoles. Box work for a hunt group is not supported on SIP desk phones. As a workaround, the hunt group busy activation or deactivation facility access codes can be dialed from a SIP desk phone. Bridged analog appearance is analog uh, are not supported on SIP desk phones. This feature allows an analog phone to be bridged with a digital or H323 phone. Call log busy offline for HC23 phones and SIP 6.5 desk phones will show missed calls which were not presented to the desk phone due to all appearances being busy or the phone being logged out. Call logs for 2.6 SIP desk phones do not contain such entries since this is a set beast feature with the set SIP protocol. Uh, Calling party number block, unblock of internal names uh, requires engagement development platform snap in uh, to accomplish. That's why it's stating it's uh, just partially supported. Click to conference is only supported for HC23 desk phones. Conferencing is accomplished by highlighting the appropriate contact in the contact list. Crisis alert SIP phones cannot receive a crisis alert, but of course, you know, if, if they do, they can invoke the feature. Avaya Ori has an integrated directory which contains the names and extensions of all users which are provisioned on the system. H323 desk phones access this directory via the directory soft key. Desk phones with the SIP load access directory via the contacts button followed by the search soft key. And this, availability, this capability is not supported on desk phones with the SIP. Uh, 2.6 load, since they, they can only access directory via LDAP. Favorite button, this is, uh, this is unique for SIP phones, and this helps a lot of customers uh, that have complained about some of the, uh, the fact that features move around from screen to screen and aren't on the front screen with the H323 phones. Uh, the favorite button on SIP desk phones, uh, uh, these, are, these are buttons that appear on the feature screen or other screens other than the main screen, and they can be programmed on the phone to appear on the main screen. So this is useful for features that visibly alert or often use, like call pickup, BC500, extend call. And again, the H223 desk phones um, don't support this capability. We have uh, guest login. Guest login allows users to temporarily log into an already logged in desk phone. When they subsequently log out, the desk phone reverts to the previous logged in extension. Guest log is only supported on the H323 desk phones. Hospitality is a set of features used in the hotel and hospitality industry. Examples of this feature include automatic wake up and do not disturb. These work for H223 desk phones, but are not supported on the SIP desk phones. Hotline is the ability to place calls to prearranged extensions without entering the extension on the keypad. So in other words, you just pick up the handset. H223 phones support this feature. Uh, SIP desk phones with the 
uh, SIP 7 load required the use of the 4600 settings file to administer the death phone for hotline. And the SIP death phones with the 2.6 load to help support this feature. Limit number of concurrent calls is used to keep one call appearance idle, such that it can be used for outgoing calls. This, this as well is not supported on the uh, 96X0 phones using the 2.6 load. SIP telephone support failover to third party gateways, such as those available from audio codes. For small locations, these gateways can come in at a price point lower than traditional Avaya gateways. Uh, malicious call trace is an intended feature, hence not supported on SIP phones. Manual signaling allows the user to signal another user with two-second ring. This is a low-demand feature, also not supported on SIP death phones. Uh, I, I instant messaging could be used as an alternative if you do have a need for this feature. Invoking night service is an, is an attendant feature, hence not supported. Pin checking requires the death phone user to enter a pin before dialing. This feature works only on the HC23 phones. Present status display of users in the local contact list is supported on the SIP phones only. Pull transfer is used to allow either the transferring party or a transferred to party to press the transfer button to complete the transfer operation. It's not supported with SIP death phones either. Ringtones, in addition to the eight provided by the set, can be downloaded from an HTTPS server by 96X1 SIP sets up to a an additional 40 ringtones can be uh, downloaded and are supported by those sets. With ring control per contact, 96X1 SIP sets can program any of the available ringtones against each of the six numbers associated with their contacts. Ring, abbreviated and delayed, is supported on H323 death phones only. The ringing, abbreviated and delayed feature is most useful in bridging situations in which users want to have a call audibly alert as soon as the call arrives, be audibly notified if a call is unanswered within a specific number of rings, or stop the audible alerting. Service observing in the call center is a contact center supervisor feature. 96X0 SIP sets cannot be used to observe other calls, however they can be observed. The team button is used to pick up calls from or call other team members and is not supported on the 96X0 sets. Transfer on hangup is not supported on the 96X0 sets either. Uh, transfer to voicemail, this allows the user to transfer a live or alerting call to a designated voicemail box to press the button. HC23 death phones allow the administration of the transfer to voicemail button, but SIP death phones do not. Also, SIP death phones now allow transfer to voicemail when a call is alerting. Only after a call is answered can a SIP death phone transfer to uh, voicemail. Uh, voice, initiated in, sorry, voice initiated dialing uh, is a deprecated feature, and that's only supported on the 96X0 sets that are uh, H323 enabled. Other differences to be aware of when going from H323 to SIP on 96X1 sets are that the USB with the SIP load becomes useless with the exception of the ability, uh, rather with the exception of its ability to be used as a device charger. If used as a call center agent, the SIP load does not support pre-recorded agent greeting. SIP phones can support customized screen savers. Web apps are not supported on the SIP sets. You know, things that SIP, uh, a SIP phone can do that an HC23 phone cannot uh, include richer, richer presence, instant messaging capabilities on the 9641, tighter integration with the Byte or conferencing, and integration with Microsoft Exchange, including the ability to get calendar reminders and dial into the meeting with a single button press.
if you have legacy Nortel phones that are moving into the Avaya Aura environment, the feature differences can be more significant than uh, moving a 323 9600 series set into the SIP environment. These are the 1100 and 1200 series sets that are supported as SIP sets on Avaya Aura. Note that these sets cannot be used for call center agent or attendant positions. If the 1100 or 1200 set was, was deployed on a CS1000 as a SIP set prior to migrating to Avaya Aura, the feature loss is, not as, is really not that significant as you can see here by looking at the rightmost two columns. Hotline and BLF being the most important features lost. If, however, the sets were deployed as unit SIM, then the feature loss is potentially much greater, as you can see by looking at the check marks, which represent what is supported with the Avaya or a SIP load on these sets. Call center and attendant features represent the bulk of the features that become unsupported. Note the last column. Uh, FAC stands for feature access code and FNE for feature names extension. Both are means of accessing a feature by dialing a string or by using a speed dial code. I'll get deeper into this in a moment. After migration, your users will have different uh, display characteristics as shown here. And note the feature button up in the upper left hand corner there. So many of the features uh, you know, that were available via soft key now become exposed via speed dials. And I've listed uh, some of those out here for you. Shown here, the user would press the feature key, which opens up the speed dial list, where the FAC or FNE feature codes were stored for easy access. You know, this certainly requires more interaction with the display by the user uh, than when they have the uh, previous Unistem load where those uh, features were displayed underneath the uh, soft keys. And with that, I've reached the end of the presentation. Thank you for attending this webinar Wednesday. I hope this webinar provided you with the valuable information to consider when upgrading or adding to your Avaya Aura system. Reach out to your Avaya, rather to your Ethereum account executive if you would like to have a deeper conversation regarding how SIP telephony can enhance your user experience as well as reduce costs in your environment.